Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a brief discussion on rhombus or rhombi, the plural of rhombus. Rhombus is singular. The plural of rhombus is rhombi. Rhombi. So let's rhombi about rhombuses. Or what the heck is a rhombus? A rhombus is a parallelogram where all sides are congruent. That's not always true for parallelograms, but if I have a parallelogram, ladies and gentlemen, where all sides are congruent, we call that guy a rhombus. And here's an example of a rhombus here. I have a parallelogram and all sides are congruent. A, B is congruent to B, C is congruent to C, D, and is congruent to A, D. So let's look at some properties as we're going to do, as we always do with these quadrilaterals. We're going to look at the properties. So let's look at some properties of this parallelogram. Ooh, no weight of the rhombus A, B, C, D. So I'm talking now about this rhombus A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. And what do I know? Well, I know that A, B is parallel to D, C. I know that A, D is parallel to B, C. Why is that true? Well, that's true because it's a parallelogram. It's true because it's a parallelogram. That's true for all parallelograms. Hey, angle A is congruent to angle C. Why is that true? That's true. Well, let's go ahead and say that angle D is congruent to angle B. Why is that true? That is also true because the rhombus is a parallelogram. What else do I know? What else do I know? I know that the diagonals bisect each other. Why is that true? Because that's true for all parallelograms, ladies and gentlemen. True for all. So they bisect each other. We know that. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. So those three properties are properties of parallelograms. A rhombus is a parallelogram, so they still hold true for the rhombus. Hey, what? so what in the world is so special about a rhombus? Here are the special properties of a rhombus. These are the special properties. Only hold true for the parallelogram that is a rhombus. The diagonals are angle bisectors. Not true for all parallelograms, true for only rhombus. Hey, what about the diagonals are perpendicular? The diagonals are perpendicular. Not true for all parallelograms, but true for all rhombi. The diagonals are perpendicular. And what we're going to do, as what we have done in the past for all of the properties, is we're going to prove these two properties. First thing we're going to look at is are the diagonals or the diagonals are angle bisectors. So this is a fairly straightforward proof. And we're going to look at it right here. And what my claim is, is that these angles are congruent. This is what my claim is, that those are congruent and that those are congruent. That's my claim. Claim the diagonals bisect the angles, the vertex angles of a rhombus. This is a very simple proof, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go. AB congruent to AD. AB congruent to AD. BC congruent to CD. Why is that true? That's true because it's a rhombus. Those two things here, true. That's a property of, that's the definition, not a property. That's a definition of rhombus. Definition of rhombus. AC is congruent to AC, same segment. So now what do I have? I have very simply CAB, triangle CAB is congruent to triangle CAD because of side, side, side. What does that tell me? That tells me that angle CAB, that angle right here, is congruent to CAD, that angle there, because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Property of congruent triangles. So therefore, AC 
is an angle bisector of DAB. AC is an angle bisector of DAB DAB. So let's go to that next property. Where the diagonals are perpendicular. Let's look at that proof. My claim. Diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other in a rhombus. In a rhombus. Not true for all parallelograms. But what I'm saying is this is true. What the property says. This is true for rhombi. Let's prove it. Again, this is a fairly simple proof. This time I wrote it in statement reason. Maybe a little bit easier to follow. I have AB congruent to BC. AB congruent to BC. Why? That's a definition of a rhombus. All the sides are congruent. I know angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And that's that new property of rhombus. The diagonals bisect the angle. So that tells me this angle and this angle are congruent. BE is congruent to BE, same segment. Therefore, what do I have, ladies and gentlemen? I have triangle AEB. Sorry. I have triangle AEB congruent to triangle CEB. And why is that true? That's true because of side angle side. Now what do I know? Well, now I know that I know that angle AEB is congruent to angle CEB because that's a property of congruent triangles. So if I have now look at these two angles here are congruent. If these angles are congruent, they're also a linear pair. What does that tell me? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that tells me that the me measure of angle AEB is 90 because I have a congruent linear pair of angles. It means they're 90, and we've talked about that. What does that mean? Hey, that tells me what? The diagonals are perpendicular. Diagonals of rhombi, rhombus. are perpendicular. So one more very special rhombus that we're looking at. Can you think of it? Can you think of the special Can you think of the special rhombus that you learned about for lots of times, lots of years, forever and ever, long time ago. Yes, you can. And that's a square. A square is a very special rhombus, and we could easily prove, and we know what a square is. A square is a, ooh, it's a quadrilateral that has four congruent sides and one right angle. Therefore, they're all right angles. Because a square is also a special parallelogram, a square is a special rhombus, all the properties of rhombus, the diagonals are perpendicular, and the diagonals are, I can use red, the diagonals are perpendicular, and the diagonals are angle bisectors. It's a parallelogram, therefore the what? I know that the diagonals bisect each other. Oh, and what else? A square is a special rectangle. And guess what? Rectangles, the diagonals are congruent. So all four of these segments, all four of these little segments are congruent. Because all the properties of a rectangle hold for a square, all the properties for a par parallelogram hold for a square, and all the properties of a rhombus hold for a square. So a square is very special. So let's reread to you what this video was talking about. This video was talking about 
the definition of rhombus, which is a parallelogram where all sides are congruent. And then we looked at the special properties of strictly the rhombus, the diagonals are angle bisectors, and the diagonals are perpendiculars. And then we prove these two properties of rhombus. And then we talked about the very special rascal, a square. And then somewhere along the line, I think we saw some kid dabbing. Good day. I will see you soon.